Okay, today we're going to have a look at something called a stratified sample. So our example is the number of students in a school is shown. A student council is to be formed consisting of 20 members of the school population. The composition of the council must reflect the proportions in the population. How many from each year level should be selected? So a couple of key words there are that there's going to be 20 members total and that the composition of it must be in proportion. So that means that if there's X amount of year 12s, then there's the proportion of year 12s to the whole cohort should reflect the number of year 12s to the 20 members of the school council. So first off, we're going to, if we haven't already, turn it into a table where we've got our year levels, number of students, proportion, and sample size. Okay. First thing we should do is find out how many students do we have total. So I'm going to add up all of those. 95 plus 120 plus 180 plus 165 plus 200 plus 190 is 940. So we've got 940 students total in our population. Okay. Then we want to find out our proportion. Our proportion is our number of students in each grade compared to the overall total. Okay, so it's just a fraction. It's just 85 out of 940. Okay, and then we're going to multiply that fraction by our total on our cancel, so times by 20. Okay, so I'll show you how that looks. If I do 85 on 940 times that by 20 people in our council and it gives us 1.808 okay so equals 1.8 students now we can't have 1.8 students so we're going to round up okay so this becomes 2 okay 120 on 940 times by 20 gives us 120 on 940 times by 20 well 2.55 okay now I just want to keep an eye on this one okay I'm going to put a little little dot next to him okay because Sometimes the rounding adds up when you add up at the end and you actually have too many people or not enough because of the way you've rounded. So for ones where it's 1.8, well, that's two. But for ones that are sort of close to the middle, 2.55, well, that's really close to halfway. We're going to call it three because that's what it technically should be. But if we add up in, uh, down in the bottom, okay, once we've finished and we add it all up, we might need to go back and reevaluate. Okay, so 180, next one, 940 times 20 is 180 on 940 times 20, 3.82 or 3.83. That's pretty clear cut. That's going to be 4. Uh, 165 on 940 times by 20 is, and I remember again, this is 165, the number of students out of the total, and then times it by how many people we want on our council. 940 times by 20 is 3.51. Okay, that's another one that we want to keep an eye on. So 3.51 is incredibly close to halfway between 3 and 4. So... I'm going to keep an eye on him. We're going to call him four at the moment. Okay. But that might change. Next one, 200 out of 940 times by 20 is 200 on 940 times by 20. 4.255. Okay. 
4.255, well that's going to be 4, rounding down, okay, and 190 out of 940 times by 20 is... 190 over 940, oh, 190 over 940, and then times by 20, 4.04, .04. okay, so that's definitely a 4. Now, what we should do, add up these, make sure that we're at 20, okay, so... 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2, 21. Got too many people. So that's why we flagged these guys. Okay. What you want to do is you want to look at the one that you have rounded the most. Okay. So this guy was 2.55 and we rounded him up to 3. This guy was 3.51 and we rounded him up to 4. This guy has the most rounding on him. Okay. So we're going to change that and we're, we're one person too many okay so we're going to change him back to three okay and we'll write down changed uh, two three two what do we call that um to meet total okay so this number was the one that was rounded the most okay and so, because we needed to come down to 20, we're going to change him to 3. So I'll just double check again. Okay. 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 is 20. So that is how many people will be in our student council. We'll have 2 from grade 12, 3 from 11, 4 from 10, 3 from grade 9, 4 from grade 8, 4 from grade 7. Okay. That's a stratified sample.